welcome to my youtube channel my name is Hila Tibilundi thanks for always come back and watch my videos in case you're new on this channel you're most welcome feel at home and kindly consider subscribing and smash the notification bell button so that you can always be the first one notified whenever i upload a new amazing video in today's video guys let's line together this is my first time to do for I to do for for I'm gonna do for for the first time it's a Nigerian dish so my friend already gave me the recipe so I wanna try it so I was like why don't I try it with you and uh, this is the first step I already washed my potatoes and then without peeling it's time to boil them after boiling them I'm gonna smash them and then we will see the next step this is the first step is to wash a potato and after washing them very very well don't peel then boil them let me cover it so that you can boil quickly guys after boiling them you have to wait them until they cool down and then peel them with your hands don't use knife yeah small hairs when you peel it like this without using a knife it's, more, it's healthy and easier so all you need is to you only need is to wash your hands well and you wait the potato until they cool down and then peel them like this this is all i already peeled this now it's time for grating them after that you grate them like this oh you can mash them or you can use a fork anything easy for you but to me i feel grating them is more easier so you can also use anything you feel easy for you all we need is to make the potato very soft so you can use anything or brand you can even brand it of this so you have to wait until it's cold down once it's hot you're gonna hurt yourself so you better wait until it's cool down see all this amount guys the next step is to put our grated potato Irish potato we're gonna put in the boiled water this boiled water one cup of boiled water and then we're gonna put our potato in it yeah and then start mixing it let me show you how it will it's better if you grate them if you you drain them it will be better and then we're gonna wait until it's boiled let me hide the heat and after that you see it's boiling well then we're gonna add this this is cassava flour on this I got from here it's cassava flour but you can if you don't have cassava flour you can use wheat or maize any any flour you have you can use it but today I prefer this cassava flour 
better because this is what they usually use and then you lower the heat and then start mixing and mix stay here yes guys after mixing it well and adding a little bit of water and you find it doesn't stick on the wooden spoon anymore it means that it's ready you see it's not sticky at all it's very easy you see when it's like this it means that it's ready it doesn't stick so the next step is to put this in our Polythene bag. Let's do the next step. First step is to put this <laughs> fufu in this plastic bag. So let's do this. We need to get a little portion and we put it in one bag. The reason why you put them in this plastic bag is to make them hard. To, to make them hard because right now they are too soft. So we need to make them a little bit hard so that they can be easy to eat. Okay. Another wooden spoon. it here yes, like this and then press it well very very well like this and then you tie it So do the same thing. So tie it and then you wait it for 15 minutes to become tight. Finally, finally, guys, this is my first time to make fufu, and this is the result. <laughs> Hope Nigerian, you're gonna give me credit because of this. This is the first time to make fufu, and it looks delicious. Now it's time for testing it. Ah, you don't eat this with with fork or spoon. You have to wash your hands well, and then. It 
to his hand. Okay. Let me test it for you. Mm. It's really tasty. It's delicious. So you better try for my recipe and try it your own at home. Mm. Yummy. In case you don't have cassava flour, you can use this cassava flour. You better use wheat or maize flour. Anything you have. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. That's the end of that video. Hope you enjoyed. See you on my next video. Bye for now.